Hey everyone, Tristan back with another video. And in this video, I'd like to talk about audio formats, lossless audio formats, and is there a difference? By lossless audio formats, I am referring to Apple Lossless, otherwise known as ALAC, uh, also WAV files, WAV, and AIFF files. I'm not talking about the music that you can download from iTunes. That is a lossy format um, and not uh, CD quality, not bit perfect CD quality. Um, although they probably sound pretty good in general, um, I'm talking about lossless formats uh, primarily. And the reason why I'm doing this video, and also this is a live stream, if anyone's watching, feel free to chat or whatever. Um, but it will turn into a video in my channel afterwards. But the reason I'm doing this video is because I recently discovered a little bit of new information about them and did some listening tests and have determined for me, for my own preferences, that AIFF uh, for me is the best audio format and sounds the best. Um, previously I was using a mixture of AIFF and um, Apple Lossless, A-L-A-C. And um, Apple Lossless is a compressed format, so the track file sizes are about half of what AIFF is. However, they're both bit perfect. So bit perfect means that it's CD quality and all the bits are there. So there's not any difference in quality technically, um, in terms of audio quality technically with those two formats. However, um, one is compressed, the Apple lossless is compressed and AIFF is not compressed. And uh, you actually do hear a slight difference um, in that fact because when you're listening to Apple lossless, um, compressed lossless files, your computer or your device that you're listening to has to uncompress those in real time. And uh, the AIFF or WAV files are uncompressed lossless um, and the computer or playback device does not have to do any uncompression in real time when playing those back. And I have actually um, done a lot of tests with um, AIF, AIFF versus Apple lossless and I can tell you that the Apple lossless seems to sound better, I mean I can tell you the AIFF uncompressed um, tracks seem to sound a lot better. Um, they sound, they have more separation, they have uh, more impact, they have just more air and ease about them um, to the music and just more clarity. Um, it is quite subtle, but it is definitely there. And uh, so even though AIFF um, and also WAV, WAV files take up like double the space of a uh, Apple lossless file, I think it's worth it because the computer doesn't have to work as hard to uncompress uh, you know, the music as it's playing back. And I think in that uncompression process, there is something that is, it's basically like a timing issue. Slight timing delays or slight timing, um, you know, very micro um, subtle timing issues in that uncompression process that I think degrades the audio quality of Apple Lossless just ever so slightly. Now. Some people may not hear the difference, um, but, and also you probably won't notice a difference if you're playing an Apple lossless file and just listening to an album or something like that. But where you really will notice a difference, and where I notice a difference, is if I have an Apple lossless track and an AIFF track, the same song, and I play them back to back or just switch between the two, I can really definitely, you know, if I'm comparing the two different files, I can really hear, uh, hear that difference. Another interesting fact is that because they're both bit perfect, the Apple Lossless and the AIFF, uh, you can actually convert from Apple Lossless to AIFF and back and forth without losing anything. And uh, the main difference is just that one is compressed and has to be decompressed um, by the computer upon playback in real time, and one is not compressed. But when you convert from, say, Apple Lossless to AIFF, it is decompressing that file for you and giving you the bitrate back, all of the bitrate back of, of that track. Whereas if you are playing the Apple lossless file, it's compressed and it's a, the bitrate is actually compressed and the computer or the playback device has to do the uncompression while it's playing the track back. Um, so interestingly, I had some Apple lossless um, uh, CDs that I had ripped, you know, uh, in Apple lossless format. And um, I actually just converted them using a piece of software called XLD for OS X for Mac. And I converted them from Apple Lossless to AIFF and they sounded better. So I actually gained some audio quality just by doing that. 
I did not have to go back and re-rip my CDs to AIFF or anything like that. I only had to convert from Apple Lossless to AIFF. So the only thing I'm losing there is disk space, but that's not as much of an issue anymore because um, hard drives are getting much larger these days. Um, storage is actually really cheap. So even like my iPhone is a 256 gig iPhone. So I really recommend AIFF. Um, if you're playing um, either Apple lossless files or something different that's compressed, I would actually recommend going to an uncompressed music format. Uh, the two uncompressed music formats are basically AIFF and WAV, W-A-V. And in terms of comparing the two uncompressed formats, so, um, AIFF and WAV, um, AIFF is pretty primarily the Mac format and WAV is primarily like the Windows format. But nowadays you can pretty much play both of them, I think. Um, iTunes, however, doesn't really support um, tagging very well with the WAV format. Um, which is the primary and, and also album artwork and things like that. So that's the primary reason that I'm using AIFF over WAVE. Um, and also I did a comparison between those two uncompressed lossless formats and I couldn't hear any difference at all, at least with my DAC and my computer. Um, depending on your device, some devices apparently may play the WAV lossless audio files um, a little bit better than the AIFF, whereas some other devices, some other DACs may play the AIFF better. In my comparison, um, I couldn't hear any difference between the two at all, so I went with AIFF um, pretty much for the convenience factor of getting the tags um, and artwork and stuff like that because unless you kind of have a program that can import the tags or you want to do it manually, the WAV files don't support tags and stuff. I will post a link in the description field to this video um, of a discussion on this topic, or not really a discussion, but an article on this topic covering most of the stuff that I'm talking about here. But I did want to do this video and uh, encourage you, if you're using Apple lossless uh, music tracks in your um, sort of audiophile system, I would encourage you to try AIFF. Just convert some of those tracks or one of those albums or something to AIFF and um, see if you can hear a difference for yourself. And it'd be my guess that you probably can. Um, and again, the reason is they're both bit perfect, but one is compressed and one is uncompressed. And the less the playback device or the computer has to do to uncompress the file, I think the better the audio quality. And like what I heard in terms of when I compared um, Apple losses to AIFF is, like I said before, um, AIF, AIFF just sounds like it can breathe better, kind of like a fine wine. <laughs> no, just kidding. but. It does sound like it can breathe better. It's more effortless, um, a little bit more impactful, a little bit more stereo separation. Whereas the Apple Lossless file just seems to have like a little bit of a veil, like over the sound, over the music to it, a little bit of a muting um, over it. And it's very subtle. And again, you probably won't notice unless you compare them back to back, but it is definitely there. So uh, for me, it's AIFF. Um, as always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. And uh, for community discussion, see the comments field and also check the description field for that article that I was talking about that talks about uh, some of this stuff. But yeah, you can convert your Apple lossless to AIFF or to WAV. Um, and it's totally bit perfect, so you don't have to actually go back and re-import your CDs if you already have them in Apple lossless or anything like that. Another cool thing is that if you have the uh, if you have um, files in AIFF, you can always convert to lower files like um, either Apple Lossless or even um, Apple AAC or MP3s or whatever uh, without you know any problem because you pretty much have the source. That's the actual uncompressed music that's actually on the CD itself. So thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you in my next video. I'll also post the link to the XLD app which is a great app for importing CDs on OS X or um, converting files on OS X as well. Um, it does a much better, better job than iTunes um, in terms of uh, the audio quality. Another thing about iTunes that I want to mention, speaking of iTunes, while I'm on the topic, if you have high uh, bit rate audio files in iTunes, say like 24-bit um, files in iTunes, and you use iTunes to convert files, like to convert from, say, a high bit write Apple lossless to AIFF, iTunes is going to make it 16-bit.
it's going to just strip out in the 24-bit and make it 16-bit. So it's going to lower your quality slightly. So um, I don't recommend using iTunes to convert files unless they are already 16-bit. Use XLD. XLD. The XLD app is really nice. It doesn't do that. It, it, it preserves your, your bit rate and all that stuff. So um, I will post links to both of those on the bottom here. And um, thanks for watching. See you in my next video.